Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that, man. Oh, dang. You could skip to any timestamp down below to find exactly what you're looking for. So first off, we're going to look at the basics of landscape mode in UEFN. So the first thing I'm going to do for using landscape mode, what you're going to want to do is go to the top left corner. Right now, we're actually in the selection mode. We're going to go ahead and click this and go to the landscaping mode. Now, when you're inside this, this is where you can do all the magic, all the terrain. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click W, which it's already selected. And we're just going to kind of adjust how high I want this terrain to be. You can also resize this, I'm pretty sure. So you can like shrink this down, stuff like that. But we'll just keep it how it is. I'm going to go ahead. I like this level that we have right here. So all I'm going to do to get this base layer down, I'm going to scroll down here and where it says create this huge blue button, I'm going to go ahead and click that and it's going to just slowly load this in right here and boom, just like that, we got the foundation of our landscape mode. So a lot of people have been wanting this in Fortnite Creative One and we finally have it here inside UEFN. As you can see, we got some beautiful terrain just all across right here. Now that we have the basics down, we're going to figure out how to make some mountains. So over to like the left side, we have all these different tools. We're actually going to start off with the sculpting tool. That's like one of the main ones that we're going to be using today. Below that, there's also these other settings. You can change the type of brush that you're using. You can also change the brush strength. I'm actually going to turn this up because we're going to make a giant mountain. So I'm going to take it and just scroll all the way up here. Uh, there's also a brush size, so I'm going to increase that as well. And now this is pretty simple. So once you have all these things selected to whatever you like, uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of hovering over out here in the train. And if I click with my left click, it's gonna slowly start making mountains just like so. So just like that, we made a huge mountain. This is really similar to you know all the mountains that, that uh, Fortnite uses in game. No longer do we have to place super annoying like terrain pieces and try to make it perfect. Now we can just build it super fast and super easy. UEFN has a lot of cool landscape tools, so let's go check them out. Now let's just say that I wanna make a ramp go up to this huge mountain. So I'm gonna click this little ramp tool up here in the top left. We're gonna click it and uh, we're gonna start. Yeah, we'll keep all the settings for now. So what we're gonna do is select the top of the mountain, just up there and then select down here at the bottom, boom. This is kind of what the ramp is going to look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and just click this little add ramp button. And just like that, it just generated a huge ramp going up this mountain. There is also a erase tool, which is super helpful. So let's say, for example, uh, I don't like something on here. Like, oh, look at this, guys. I don't like how the ramp doesn't connect very well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my erase tool strength down a little bit. And just as you click left, click again, you can slowly like erase stuff like this i actually cut my entire mountain in half so we're gonna go ahead and just scrap this whole thing get rid of the mountain just like that so let's get another mountain down really quick i'm just gonna hold this again maybe we'll make a couple this time i'm gonna make like three mountains and then uh right here in the middle i'll make like a super tall one there's another tool that's really important and it's the smooth one you can go ahead and select this <clears throat> and what this tool does just like it says it smooths things out so we got some like really pointy edges here at the top. If I go ahead and just like, oh gosh, we have to turn the strength down. This is super, super maxed out here. Hold on. If I use the smooth tool over top of these mountains, it's going to smooth it down a little bit. It's going to get rid of those super uh, pointy edges. It's going to make it nice and smooth. Well, this is pretty cool. I mean, you can mess around with this as much as you want, depending on like what you want your mountain to look like. Another important tool is the flatten tool. I'm going to go ahead and click it just like this. And this one, you can just simply click on it and it'll make a flat surface wherever you're clicking i'm actually going to make this a little bit stronger here turn up the strength i'm going to turn up the brush size so now my goal is to make this i guess the top of the mountain like super flat so i'm going to go ahead and just select the top and hold this down so i'm holding down left click as i'm making the circle and check this out guys we just made a super flat mountaintop just like that Getting some really cool layers from this. This is probably like one of my favorite tools in the whole thing. The flattened one is really good. I think I want to add a little ramp coming from this side. So I'm going to click the ramp button again. Start from this point. Go down to the bottom, the base. And I don't want this to be super wide. So I'm going to just kind of shrink this down a little bit. And now I'm going to click add ramp. Check it out, guys. We got a little ramp going up from this side. So 
Just like that, we got a pretty cool looking little terrain right here. Now, of course, you could spend a lot of hours making this perfect, but this is really sick so far. Now let's learn how to make some paths using the paint tools. Something else that is really cool is uh, the paint feature. So if I go ahead and click paint, this is something that a lot of people are probably gonna be using. Um, if we scroll down here, as you can see, we have like all these different type of layer uh, paints you can use. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this first one here to give you an example, but all you do, it's kind of just like a paintbrush. You hold down your left click and just drag as you go. We're kind of getting some weird visuals there, but look at this, guys. Look at this. We got perfect dirt roads in UEFN. Like this is, this is so amazing. If this was Fortnite Creative 1, this would take so long to make. You guys have no idea. And just look how perfect it blends in with the terrain. So you can have the grass here. I can make any type of path I want. Let's just make a nice U shape here. I'm gonna kinda go back and forth a couple times. If you guys don't notice, if you like just go really fast while you're holding left click, like look at that. See how it's like super, uh, it doesn't do too much, whatever, like it's super light. If you hold it down for a while, that's what makes it really stand out. So if we go inside here, look at this. Now we got the perfect, you know, rocky road or little mud road, whatever we got here. Let's actually try out some different ones. So over on the left hand side, there's also this darker color one. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And then let's uh, let's try from this side of the mountain. I'm just gonna hold it down again and just roll through here. So yeah, this one's definitely like a, a darker version. This looks almost like more muddy. I believe we have a snow one. Let's go ahead and click this. Is this sand or snow? <laughs> I think this is sand. This is definitely sand, okay. There's also a couple other ones. I think this one is rock. I'm just gonna go through all of them. Might as well while we're here. Oh, this is sick. Look at this. This is like some pavement type stuff, dude. So if you're making roads, if you're making like a car map of you need roads, this is super, super easy to use. There's two more. I'm gonna go through them here. We got this one. Let's see what this is. This one's more for like, I guess like a forest. Yeah. You got like the little leaves and stuff on the floor, a little bit more textures. It's really cool. And then the final one down here, I'm guessing this is like a nice stone or like rocky type stuff. Oh yeah, dude. See, this is the one I actually was messing around with when I first started uh, using UEFN. I really like this one a lot. We got some pretty cool ones. I'm actually gonna go back to this original uh, dirt path that we had at the top. Gonna select it on the left here. You can actually bring this up onto your mountain. So I'm just gonna bring it up here. It's gonna just kind of go up as we go. It's gonna replace a lot of that green grass, as you can see. And the same thing with the paint tool. You can also readjust you know, how strong the tool is and how big your brush size is. So if you want to make it like an exact spot, like say, for example, this little section down here, you can easily do that just by adjusting how much uh, it does. And um, yeah, just works like perfect like that. This is kind of like the basics of it. And it's really simple to do. It's a lot of fun. If you guys, you know, hop in there, test it out. You guys will like have a lot of fun doing that. Another thing you can do is kind of make some, I guess, like hills. They don't have to be exactly like mountains. But what I'm going to do is make my uh, brush size super big. But I'm going to keep the tool strength pretty low. So now if I just go across kind of fast like this. <clears throat> it's gonna make some really nice hilly type uh, terrain. So instead of it being super flat, now we got a little bit of texture here on the road. See how everything is just a little bit more, you know, like wavy and everything. I really like that. This is where you kind of have to mess around with it. The longer you hold it down, the further up it's gonna go. If you uh, do it really quick, it's gonna go nice and quick and make like these super cool hill, uh, hills. Now that we have the basics of the paint tools, let's try to figure out how to make some roads. I'm gonna do a quick example of how to make some roads. So let's just say we have some pretty hilly terrain here. I'm just gonna make a couple hills, whatever. I'm gonna go over to the paint tool and I'm gonna drag all the way down to like this uh, darker layered one. I don't know what this would be called, but yeah, let's just make a little track. I'm gonna make like a figure eight. Oh, I gotta make up the strength really quick. Uh oh. I turned this down earlier. Okay, here we go. Just gonna make this track kind of go like a nice eight right here. Gotta make sure I fill it in because if I go too quick, it won't work. Okay, got my track down. If we go in here now, check it out, guys. Imagine like riding some bikes on here or something. This is looking really sick. 
now that we created all this stuff let's go check it out in game and see what it looks like all right guys so now we are inside fortnite and this is what our train looks like so we're gonna have a look a little bit of a fly around right here so this is the track that we just made and check this out guys like look how simple this was to make i made this in like five minutes if you guys really you know spend time in uefn and practice it you guys can make some really really awesome stuff let's go check out this other side i really want to see this pathway we created gonna go ahead and land down here oh yeah dude look at that man oh dang yo with the clouds and everything like this just looks this looks insane i would i make this in like two minutes like look at this man if this was normal creative one this would take so long to make it would never look this good you got like the seamless transition from like the grass to this dirt path it looks really good you got the mountain up there Looking like Pride Rock from Lion King. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, dude, this is sick. This is uh, really cool. And, you know, this is just the basics. You can add some trees in here. You can add, you know, bushes, everything you want. It's really easy to make some terrain in uh in uefn thank you guys for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys smash the like on it i have a playlist for all my tutorials inside uefn down below in the description so if you guys want more tutorials go check out that if you have any ideas for videos you want me to make make sure you guys drop it down below in the comments but yeah if you guys are new and want more tutorials make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace out everybody